Hey guys, we're trying some new makeup from my most recent haul. Uh, I'm gonna be putting on the Givenchy lip balm. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. My lips are feeling a little crackly. We're also gonna be trying a new primer from EXA. This is the Jumpstart Smoothing Primer. It is charged with triple antioxidant blend. Very, very exciting. Um, Credo Beauty sent this to me. I hauled it a few hauls ago, so I'm excited to finally give this a shot. Uh, Bobbi Brown sent over their Nude Finish Tinted Moisturizer SPF 15. This is one of those products that I don't I don't understand why I haven't tried this yet. It's like, it sounds perfect for me. So anyway, we'll be throwing that on. And then Jouer was kind enough in sending me a lot of pieces from their latest French Riviera collection. So I've got their eyeshadow palette. Um, I've got two of their blush and bloom sticks. These are cheek and lip duos. So we'll see what happens as this trying new makeup progresses. I have the Persona bronze multi stick. Um, I also have um, a product from uh, Trini London that works for your lips and your cheeks as well. So I pulled out one of those. Anyway, we've got some fun stuff here. Surat Beauty sent over some of their amazing brushes. So I'm gonna be trying some of these today as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start with this Givenchy lip balm. So they sent over the Le Rouge Balm. It moisturizes and nourishes. Here is the packaging. And the lip balm looks just solid white <laughs> in the bullet. It has like a little bit of a milky effect, but not much. I would say it's, it's pretty much clear. It feels great. I can feel it kind of thinning out as it's warming up. Feels like it's absorbing. It's making, I have this little crack in my lip here. It's making that feel a lot better. It doesn't hurt anymore, which is nice. There is a little bit of a fragrance. It's kind of like, Sweet vanilla, but also like sweet floral too. Like all at the same time. Very unique, but it's very faint. I don't taste it or anything. So yeah. All right, so that is the Givenchy lip balm. Very, very nice. And it's not too gooey. Really nice. All right, so next we, oh, we're gonna go in with the EXA primer. So I've tried the EXA foundation and it is really quite lovely. And EXA is uh, like a clean beauty brand and a lot of their packaging is very eco-conscious, eco-friendly. So they even tell you at the bottom what you can and can't recycle. So what's great is their foundation came to basically package the same way. So this foundation is sitting in this like paper insert instead of a plastic one, which is really nice. So here is the primer bottle, very nice. Glass bottle, 1.1 fluid ounces. It is made in the US. And I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit here. And I'm just gonna start with two pumps. It looks like it has kind of like a thick serum kind of texture. It definitely has like a, a lighter weight kind of feeling and it definitely feels smoothing. I definitely feel like there's some silicones in there, but not too much. I don't like primers that are just full on silicone where, I don't know, they just kind of make my skin feel very plasticky. This is definitely not to that extreme. Uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely feel the smoothing. I have a lot of texture here on my face and it feels like it's, it's dulled down. Oh, neat. Cool, all right. Well, we'll have to see how this actually sits underneath makeup. But so far it feels really nice and I really enjoy the texture of the primer. Not too thick, not too thin, very nice. All right, so that is the primer from EXA, the Jumpstart Smoothing Primer. And then next we have the Bobbi Brown Nude Finish Tinted Moisturizer. I have it in the shade Light Tint. It has SPF 15 in here and it is a mixture of chemical and physical sunscreen, which is great. This is 1.7 fluid ounces, so it's a 50 mil tube. And Surat did send over their foundation brush. I'm so excited to try this out. I have been eyeing it for a very long time. So this is, I believe, a dual fiber brush. I believe it has natural and synthetic fibers in there, and it is uh, like a dense kabuki style brush, I guess you could say, and it's um, angled, which is really nice. For a light tint, it actually looks fairly deep, but I think because it's just a tinted moisturizer, it's probably pretty sheer. I'm guessing it's gonna work for my skin tone. So I'm gonna pick some up with the Surat foundation brush. And we're, oh yeah, it's very, very sheer. Oh, I love it. It has a really light, almost imperceptible scent to it, just kind of a fresh scent. 
I'm just gonna put it on this half of my face because it has such light coverage. I wanna see if we can even see the difference <laughs> between the non-foundation side and the foundation side. All right, there is a very light layer of it on this side. I don't even think you can see it. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more out and apply a little bit more to this side and then we'll be able, I think, be able to compare a little bit better. But that's about how much I'm squeezing out. It is sitting very, very nicely over this primer, by the way. Okay, so that is two layers applied to this side of my face, nothing over here. I definitely see a little bit of coverage. It is definitely very, very light. I don't even think it's that buildable. Like I could put another layer on, but maybe I'll get to like a light medium. I don't, I don't even think it's worth it <laughs> at that point. Um, I personally love, love base products like this where you can let your natural skin kind of come through a little. You know, you just look very natural. You don't have like a mask of foundation on. That's that's my personal preference. Um, if you like fuller coverage foundation, you probably wouldn't even reach for something that's called the Nude Finish Tinted <laughs> Moisturizer. Uh, but just to confirm your suspicions, yes, this is very, very light coverage. I like the glow that it's giving me. I have very dry skin, so I, I really like the finish of this. All right, so let me go ahead and finish applying to the rest of my face and then we'll be able to kind of take a, a full look at this tinted moisturizer. All right, there it is applied all over my face. Like I said, I really like the finish of this. I like this kind of radiant glow that it's giving me. The foundation brush works great. I saw a few brush strokes, but as soon as I brushed like in the other direction, they, they pretty much disappeared. So that is the Bobbi Brown Nude Finish Tinted Moisturizer SPF 15 in the shade Light Tint. So let's go ahead and move on to, oh, the Persona Bronze Multi Stick. So she's come out with two shades, Dune and Sahara. Sahara is a little bit um, too deep for my skin tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this Dune color. So here is the Dune shade. Let me do a quick swatch there. So that's June. So I'm gonna go ahead and just swipe where I would normally bronze, pretty much a brontour, a brontour situation here. We'll start there. And that was very creamy. That went on really, really nicely, very smoothly. I'm gonna use this Bobbi Brown, um, it's actually a foundation brush. It's called the Full Coverage Face Brush, but I wanted something dense with kind of a dome shape to it. And this is pretty perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start to pounce on top and that pretty much just kind of starts to blend the product in and now I'm going to sweep just ever so gently to spread out the product. I'm just going to take whatever's on my brush and kind of stipple it just, you know, lightly on my forehead and down my nose. Really nice, very, very natural. I really like that about cream products. It's like once you blend them in, you just get a really kind of light wash, unless of course you're very heavy handed with it, but you generally get like a very light wash of the color. And by looking at it swatched, I thought maybe it was going to be a little bit too warm-ish. It doesn't actually have that much of, a, of an orange undertone. It actually has a little bit more of like a yellow undertone. So I wasn't sure how that was going to translate on my cheeks, but I think it actually looks really nice. And you can see it just blended really beautifully. You don't see any kind of like harsh lines or, you know, where I kind of first swiped the product. Wow. Thank you, Persona. This is lovely. The bronze multi-stick. And again, this is the lightest shade Dune. All right. Wow. We've got a lot of uh, cream products in this video. I guess that's a good thing. Uh, let's try the Jouer Blush and Bloom Cheek and Lip Duos. So there's two different shades. Let me pull out the Cote d'Azur. This one is a little bit lighter. Okay, so here are the two shades and Cote d'Azur. They both have a really beautiful metallic sheen to them and they both glided on really nicely. I think I wanna try both. So I think what I'll do is put the lighter shade down kind of just all over my cheek. I'm gonna grab a brush for this. All right, so I've got my Sonia G Classic Cheek Brush. Yes, the Classic Cheek Brush. I'm going to swipe it over the lighter side here and just pick up a little bit of product on the brush because I just want like a wash of this color just as like a blush base. So I'm being pretty generous. I'm kind of brushing it lightly over where I brontoured. I'm bringing it pretty close to my nose here, putting it 
high up like where I would normally highlight. I'm just kind of putting it all over, all the way up to my temples, just really light. So that's a light wash of it. There's nothing on this side. And then what I'm gonna do is take the deeper side and I'm going to use like the other side of my brush here, the clean side, and do the same thing. Grab a little bit onto the brush here. And then I'm gonna focus this just on like my cheekbone, like the apples of my cheeks and just bring it up a little bit on my cheekbone. So there, there's the deeper shade kind of layer just right on the apples of my cheeks. I brought it up a little bit on my cheekbone, but that's, but that's about it. Well, these have a very pretty sheen to them. I like this like subtle metallic sheen that these have. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. All right, I think are both sides even? <laughs> Maybe this side needs a little bit more color. All right, doing a little double blushing here. I think now that I've used this blush duo, I really, really enjoy these shades. The other one that Jouet sent over is a little bit deeper, and I think I should just put this in a giveaway. I have so much blush. I have so much cream blush, and being that these are a little bit deeper, you know, I could put them on lightly, but why don't I just put them in a future giveaway? So that's what I'm gonna do. And this is in the shade, Cote de Provence is uh, this version of the uh, Blush and Bloom Cheek and Lip Duo. All right, since I have a lot of cream products on, I feel like I have enough of a glow going on. I don't think I necessarily need any extra highlight. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I don't have any new brow products. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll be back to play with the Jouer French Riviera eyeshadow palette. All right, I just threw on some of the Kosas uh, brow gel, which has been good to me. I really, really like it. Okay, let's go ahead and pull out this French Riviera palette. This looks very, very pretty. I don't have that much experience with the Jouer eyeshadows. I'm trying to think if I've had any experience. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm excited to try this out. It has matte and shimmer shades. And wow, aren't these pretty? Really beautiful. Let me give you some swatches here. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch from, uh, I'm gonna go from top to bottom and move left to right and top to bottom. So the first shade I have here is Joie, Fleur, Marais, Pichine, Soleil, Bronzage, Ocean, Ocean, Paradis, and Sable. Now, if I slaughtered any of those words, I apologize. <laughs> um, but these are really neat. This Pichine color, as I'm sure you saw in the swatches, is like a duochrome. This is really, really highly metallic, this um, Bronzage. And then we have some beautiful uh, like satin shades. So there's quite a few different finishes in here. It's not just matte and then like a metallic. The non-matte shades in here, there's quite a beautiful variety. I guess I'll start with Soleil. I always like to start with something kind of subtle, kind of work my way into the more daring shades. I really wanna try Ocean. I love greens. And that is a really beautiful metallic green. So I think that's the one kind of like pop color I'm gonna use. So anyway, I'm gonna start with Soleil, which is the matte shade in the middle. I've got my Sonia G Classic Crease Brush. And just working this in. Wow, lovely, that blended really, really easily. All right. All right, so that is Soleil laid down just outer corner and into my socket line area. I just, I wanna use Ocean. <laughs> so I'm gonna go right into Ocean. Just need to find like a flat shader type brush. I've got my Surat, um, I think this is just called the classic eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go into Ocean and just put this all over my lid. Wow. Wow. Okay, okay. This is really pigmented and I'm just noticing, I'm like not getting any fallout from this shade. What? Wow, okay. So beautiful, like instantly, I'm like ready for summer. Holy smokes. That is really, that's something else, huh? Wow, I mean with that on, I don't, I don't really know what else to add. Maybe I'll add a little bit of a deeper shade on the outer corner there. Yeah, maybe I'll dip very lightly into Paradise, which is this deeper brown, and just add this to the outer corner here and blend it into that minty green. I'm gonna take my Sony G Builder Pro brush, go into Joie, and apply this onto my brow bone 
underneath my brow and just kind of drag it along the top of Soleil. I just feel like it ends a little bit too abruptly. It's not really transitioning <laughs> very nicely. So yeah, I think that kind of just softens it up a little bit. And I'm gonna take that classic grease brush and just run it between Ocean and Soleil just to kind of blend those two shades in a little bit more here. I think I'm gonna line part of my lower lash line with Ocean and then grab a different color here. So I'm just gonna use this um, classic eyeshadow brush from Surratt again and just dip the tips of the bristles into Ocean and drag that along my lower lash line here just like to like the center part of my iris here. And I'm gonna take the same brush, go into Paradise and drag that along the rest of my lower lash line and blend it in with Ocean here. All right, wow, I am loving this very colorful, very, for me, very, very colorful eyeshadow look. When I say there is not one bit of fallout from the metallic shade, I am not exaggerating, not one bit of fallout. That is very impressive for a shadow that is really so metallic. Wow, these are beautiful, Jouer. Very, very beautiful. All right, moving on. I don't have a new mascara, do I? No, I don't have a new mascara, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the Lancome Idol mascara. This is one that I've had for a little while now, and my my friend here on, I talk about her all the time, <laughs> but Kate over at Kate the Great Beauty, she loves this mascara, and I was watching one of her videos, and it just reminded me of it. So I wanted to pull it out because I do remember enjoying it quite a bit. I just have, so much mascara that it just kind of fell to the wayside. So let me curl my lashes and then apply this mascara. Yeah, this is a great mascara. I look like I have falsies on. All right, last step for lips. I do have the Trini London Lip to Cheek. It's a sheer shimmer in the shade Katie. And isn't this just so pretty? I mean, so pretty for the cheeks or the lips, but when I look at this, I definitely think uh, lips. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my finger in there and then just swipe it on. This on top of the Givenchy Balm is like, woo, my lips feel great. I love, love this. It's very translucent. It's giving your lips like a little bit of a wash, but there's a little bit of a like satin sheen to it and there's a little bit of, I don't know if you can tell, like teeny tiny, I mean, not even micro glitters, just a little, a little glisten. Oh, that's so pretty. And I think you can see now that I've worked my finger in there, I think you can see how like moisturizing it is. Oh, this is fantastic. I love this color, love it. It's definitely on the cooler side. I feel like it cools your natural lip color down. Wow, I'm loving this makeup look. For as different as this eyeshadow look is for me, I am loving it. I'm loving it. I cannot wait to play around with the other shades in here, especially this Pusheen color. Oof. Well, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. I would love to hear what you think of this makeup look. I'm just like super impressed with everything. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.